Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video in Ubuntu Basics, a tutorial demonstrating the BAT one-handed keyboard by the company called InfoGrip. I've got one that I purchased in 1998 here that I'm showing on my webcam. This is a right-handed version and you can see the three colored keys over on the left. This is all operated by your thumb. You move your thumb only. The other four keys are with your finger and you do not move them and it's called a cording keyboard because you will depress several keys simultaneously as needed in order to produce all the letters of the alphabet, the numbers, punctuation marks and the, all of the computer keys. This is a PS2 version in 1998. All the keyboards were PS2 today. They are USB and if you run across one at a garage sale or something they will take it in and convert it to USB for you. These things are fairly expensive. They are presently today $200 and uh, if you send one in to get it converted to USB it is $100. The, the right-handed version here can be used in conjunction with a left-handed one and in that manner you can uh, use the same keyboard uh, a set of chords which you have to memorize in order to use them at a greater speed. You can of course also use the right-handed one which I have here with a mouse in your left hand. Unfortunately you cannot use a, a right-handed one uh, left-handedly by flipping it over on its back or something. Uh, it comes with a book, comes in a box and there is a chart a couple of books. You can get all those things online as well. I was interested in stenography and uh, I have a YouTube video that shows how to do Greg stenography. In fact that's one of my most watched videos and I bought this thing for that reason thinking that perhaps I could go oh I don't know a couple hundred words a minute or something. I never did get over about 30 to 50 so it's a little bit slow. Uh, the way that a normal keyboard works is when you hold down a key it will auto repeat. On this one you can't do that of course. It does not auto repeat because when you press down several keys simultaneously like on a piano, the chord, it doesn't create that letter of the alphabet until you let go. So you will press the key, nothing happens and then when you let go it makes the various keys. I got a chart here that shows how you do it. This was designed by a guy named Daniel Gopher, an unlikely sounding name, and he also supposedly designed the Twiddler, which is no longer manufactured, which had 14 keys. You held the Twiddler in your hand up in the air, although there was a cord on it, and it functioned not only as a one-handed full keyboard, but also as a mouse. And it has a, a very strong following. You can see here how the letters of the alphabet are made. Uh, it looks imposing, but I assure you, you can learn in five or ten hours. Uh, since they're not labeled, that forces you to memorize them, and you make a little game out of it, and uh, there you go. Now, the reason I got it was I was in a car repair business, and I wanted to get the alphanumeric 17 character vehicle identification number and put it in real quick. Since I found out it was easier just to go up to the window and go beep barcode I'm done. But uh, in those days they didn't have that. Also as I say I was interested in uh, typing very very rapidly and I was interested in the macros and this thing has got macros and uh, there are several of them in fact and you can put in boilerplate text and although it runs in DOS, you can type in your boilerplate macro, record it, and then assign it to some key combinations. And uh, it, it was pretty good, with the exception of not being able to record on the fly. You couldn't just say, okay, begin recording, and then start typing, stop recording, and now I got a macro. You can't do that. You have to put it in one at a time and also there was no ability to do tests, loops, do whiles, things like that. And I have not used it for a long time 
you can run it in DOSBox, of course, and uh, because DOSBox will accept uh, any which kind of uh, uh, DOS. Now this thing was already old-fashioned well into Windows. I mean 1998 Windows was going really strong and yet it was still stuck in DOS. Nobody's ever rewritten the software for it. Uh, it could be rewritten for uh, Ubuntu. I am sure Linux would do well with this thing. But it is kind of expensive and uh, you probably could uh, hit them up to buy the circuit boards without the box and get them for a whole 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 lot less money. You can see up here that there is a da da unity key. All you have to do is hit that and you got the unity key right. And uh, I can't recommend it or disrecommend the thing. It's very interesting. If you go to the info grip website you will see that they have a whole variety of handicapped uh, interfaces for uh, people to use computers. Well, my name is Pop, and that's pretty much all I got for this YouTube Ubuntu Basics tutorial, and I thank you very, very much.